Okay, this was the second try. My phone just tried to fall. I went to catch it and I turned off the recorder. That's what that's what's bad about it being right there. You go to touch it and it turns it off. So anyway, I'm gonna do a part two just in case y'all haven't had enough of watching a fat guy paint. So that's what I should call a channel, fat guy painting or something like that. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. This is part two. All right, let me try this again. Great day. I hate doing things over again after I've done it once. So, <laughs> so here's the wall I just got through doing. It's the bigger wall that I couldn't, didn't know if I could get the camera to, to show you everything. Um, I cut in around the thermostat, around that. I brushed in between there a little bit. I brushed, cut in and brushed above the door instead of doing my roller in there. And I did this little, this little spot right here. Someone, not me, got paint on there because they were going too fast and didn't care. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this farther wall over here, back there. Um, I already brushed the the code base off so I can tape it. Um, had a little sheet rock dust on there. So uh, I just got to do this back of this part here, and I got to do that that uh, area right there beside the door. Whoops, right there. Okay. So I can't use my earbuds because if I did, it would take away any audio that I might be saying. Um, Let's see, does that get it? That might be good. Okay. I like to bring these out a little bit. Threads are not going to let me pull it away from the wall, I don't think. The threads on the screws. I'm going to have to take it all the way off. Keep hearing voices out there. I don't know who's out there. Someone's sneaking around out there.
So, if you watched the first, if you watched the first video, you heard me say on the wall that um, when I was taping the code base off, that I was trying to get um, that I'm not trying to get sharp to the um, to the wall or something like that. But what I meant to say is I'm not getting sharp with the tape on the code base. It's up on the wall, just a little tiny bit, because it's not going to be that noticeable because the color is like really, really close. So that's what I meant. And just in case I forget to put it in the description below about what I was talking about. Now, if this was a whole different color, I don't want to mess with, with um, trying to get close above the code base. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape it off nice and sharp. It's only gonna be on the code base. It's not gonna be up on the wall just a little bit. So I'm, I have to take a little bit more time in that case. This video is for one lead foot. I didn't mention that, so. Let me go ahead and get my rock cloths down. So, I mean, is this video entertaining? I mean, it's not going to be edited. This is just, um, well, I, have, I have the editing, but um, I don't know how to do it. I have to depend on Jeremy to do it for me. And uh, he's, he's, all, <laughs> he's always too busy to sit down and do it a lot of times. So, so, uh, so it doesn't get done. So anyway, unless I have to do a part two of a product that I got, and I'm in the middle of reviewing it, and it gets shut off accidentally, and I gotta do a part two, and I wanna get it uploaded, then, then Jeremy will try to find the time to help me out with that. Okay, I'm reaching for the roller and getting too ahead of myself here.
So when you cut in, if you don't want to get close to the ceiling, then cut in wider like that, where you don't have to go up so close to cover, you know, where you weren't able to cut in. So just cut it, make your cut in wider. So when I'm cutting in, this is the way I'll hold it. When I get too far where I can't reach anymore, I'll hold it like that. You'll see me do it. slower when I have to go down at the end of my handle. I'm already close to this corner over here. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and cut in as far as I can reach. <clears throat> One last thing to do when I start this other wall. Cut in this bottom area. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a, it's a corner where it, where it, uh, it bevels out and outward. This might be in the way. This is its own section right here.
Okay, time to roll. Try to do a nice clean roll. Then you don't want to like let your paint get so low that you're almost scraping the bottom of the bucket because that's where the debris settles. When you when you have that, then you're going to find yourself picking little pieces of stuff off your off your paint. If you care, you know, if you really care about that, you're gonna have you're gonna have little pieces of stuff that you gotta pick off there. It's not really that big a deal, just whether or not you wanna mess with it. Now they say that uh, painting or watching painting can be relaxing. So I don't want to hear about any of y'all fell asleep while I was working. You better be paying attention. In case you want to do your own house sometime and you think that I did enough, I did enough job to, to learn from, then Maybe you can do your own place if you're not really familiar with painting. A lot of painters will tell you the same thing. Prep is very important. Prepping before you paint. You don't want paint all over everything, all your nice things, your curtains, your furniture, your countertop, your carpet, your nice wood baseboards. Then you gotta take things off. If you have nice, nice baseboards, I don't like taking a chance of putting masking tape, tape them off with masking tape. I'll use the blue tape, which is kind of a masking tape, and only it's blue. And it's more, it's more gentle on fragile type surfaces. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's, it's better to use in the long run. 
um, or those type of things, taping off cabinets. Then side work for for probably close to 15 years or more. Um, so I've I've worked in a lot of different houses and had a lot of a lot of different situations that I had to be careful about what I taped off and use plastic and all that kind of stuff. So. I've gotten some pretty good experience. Do I consider myself a professional? Oh, not really. Professionals can tell you about all different kinds of paint, what you can use them on, what's the, what's the best paint for what. I don't know all that kind of stuff. Um, I just paint. <laughs> I would be a good prep guy for a painting crew, taping off, plasticking off, covering the floor, all that kind of stuff. I'm very prepared, and that's why I did real well on the uh, I work for this restoration company. They, all the guys would like to have Jerry come with them because he's what the, I'm what they call the, the go-to guy. You need this, go to Jerry. I just had everything. <laughs> I was like, I was like the cruise pack mule or something. There you go. Done. How long was that? About the same time, 25 minutes. Okay. Let me give you the up, up close and look here. See, here's the, here's the, where is it at? Here's the corner and it goes over here and there's the, there's the bevel right there. And then you go to the rest of the wall under the corner. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, this is what I do. I mean, this isn't the only thing. I do all kinds of stuff, but these, uh, these offices is something I've been working on off and on when I don't, when I don't have anything else going on. But now it looks like they're wanting them. They're wanting them now <clears throat> for possible usage of faculty. So I'm trying to get them done quickly. Um, but I thought this would be the best opportunity to, uh, to show a video to you guys that are interested in how I paint. Um, uh, one Leadfoot wanted to see it. Uh, I don't know if I show, showed him what he wanted to see. Um, but there you go. All right, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if I have other situations to do uh, to show you all, then I will uh, I'll try to do that. Um, if it's something that you all want to see, let me know. It helps to know that everybody, you know, anybody that watched the video says that they enjoyed it. So even though I'm fat and old. <laughs> um, but uh, there you go. All right. Uh, it, was, it was fun showing you guys and kind of talking to you, telling you about how I do, how I do it and, you know, and little tips and stuff for the trade and stuff that I've learned. Um, but, uh, okay, I'll end it there. Thank you all for watching. I know I already said that, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.